Hello, good afternoon. Thanks for coming and uh, listening to uh, this talk. Uh, that's about uh, Open Invention Network, which is a practical solution for open source community against the patent aggression. I want to underline that uh, the practical solution, because uh, there are many other solutions like, uh, well, uh, kill all the patents uh, and uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm uh, the biggest proponent of uh, abandoning of uh, the patent system uh, as a whole, but uh, the reality is uh, a bit different than uh, we would like to have to. So that's why we have uh, to function in uh, the practical environment. Very short about myself, I will not bother you with my long, long uh, biography. Last uh, six and a half years uh, I worked uh, as a director of NLNet Foundation. Uh, we were supporting or still supporting uh, uh, people and projects and companies uh, and uh, non-profits uh, who are doing uh, open source projects with regard to the internet and uh, networking technology. So, uh, uh, I've run uh, more than 160 projects in this time and uh, processed more than 1,000 uh, open source project requests. So, I'm more or less acquainted with the open source needs and necessities. Uh, I've stopped uh, at NLNet uh, in August. In September, I was uh, approached by uh, uh, Open Invention Network and uh, they have asked me to uh, to help them to broaden the Open Invention Network uh, system. So, uh, uh, what's open source? We know all that. Uh, uh, that's not only Linux, that's uh, much more. Uh, we know all uh, the advantages of open source, reduced costs, improved functionality, and even uh, the new emerged industries uh, out of open source. But the most important factor is uh, the freedom of innovation. Uh, the rest uh, does not, the rest of the paradigms do, does not, uh, do not uh, provide this uh, freedom of innovation. I was uh, just been uh, to the classroom there and uh, Linux classroom, uh, an open source classroom above a uh, year. And uh, they were all furious about Microsoft and uh, how Microsoft is enslaving schools and universities because they cannot do virtually anything uh, with Microsoft. So um, I have uh, just uh, began with the realities. Uh, the realities we are functioning in is that uh, the overall patent grants are growing. That's, uh, these are the figures only of the United States. And uh, well, this is uh, of course the biggest country which uh, gives uh, the patents uh, to everything and uh, including uh, the software. So it's growing and growing and growing. And uh, what's more important is that uh, uh, the number of uh, lawsuits is uh, growing not proportionally, it's growing exponentially now. So it makes things easier just uh, to go and uh, sue somebody. And especially with uh, the modern information technologies, you just uh, copy-paste uh, uh, the suitcase, uh, you send it uh, per email, and you wait uh, till uh, somebody pays you, or otherwise you hire uh, the lawyer and uh, go to the court and uh, try uh, to get uh, some money out of it. So that's uh, still the reality. Uh, Stanford University has estimated uh, the amount of patent lawsuits in the last few years at 20 billion. So that's uh, 20 milliard uh, only for America. That's uh, eight uh, Mars rover missions. So you, uh, you can imagine how much money is wasted uh, on that. So uh, you would say, why? should we bother here in Europe? We have defeated uh, the patents, right? Well, not quite so, because uh, uh, it might seem on the paper, but uh, the European Patent Office uh, still grants uh, the software patents. They just call it different. They call it computer implemented inventions, but well, it doesn't matter, in fact, uh, because uh, whether American, uh, Chinese, or other companies uh, can sue you based on that. Um, 
So as uh, probably not not everybody knows uh, that uh, the patent lawsuit is a very serious uh, threat. Probably not uh, everybody of you here is uh, representing the big company, but uh, uh, the smaller companies uh, face uh, the same danger. The bigger companies, even the, the, the Red Hat, uh, so the last uh, LinuxCon, uh, Tom Callaway of uh, LinuxCon just said, one lawsuit and the Red Hat is gone. Just like that. That's uh, well, uh, the fact of life, uh, you, you cannot uh, go around that and uh, you cannot uh, bond on uh, the whole patent system uh, at all at uh, this moment. So, uh, patents, again, they may uh, enable or challenge open source and Linux. So, uh, about enabling, I will uh, talk uh, in a couple of minutes, but uh, endangering challenging is obvious. Uh, more and more lawsuits, uh, more and more money which is uh, paid to trolls uh, or uh, companies uh, to each other. Look at Samsung versus uh, Apple, uh, Apple versus uh, IBM, IBM versus uh, whoever. So uh, what Open Invention Network decided? So we have decided let's use the circumstances to our advantage. How? We have to find some practical response to the real world uh, threats. What uh, Open Edge Network did is uh, building a kind of virtual fort around first Linux. It uh, started with Linux and then uh, open source uh, product projects uh, and uh, software. What, what should it mean, this fort? Uh, if you join the fort, there are like-minded uh, in there. How? Everybody who joins just promises, pledges uh, to each other not to, uh, to attack each other uh, with patents on open source. That's uh, seemingly very simple concept, but it works. How was it started? Uh, it was started in uh, 2005 by these uh, giants, who were seemingly uh, very tired of uh, getting lawsuits uh, every day for their patents, uh, for their technology. They have just said, well, enough. Let's go and uh, do something with that. Uh, they have brought uh, their open source patents in one pool and have said, uh, we give each other the permission to use them. Whatever products, whatever markets, we just use them freely. And let's let others uh, join in and uh, whether they have or not, no, do not have uh, any patents, it doesn't matter. As soon as uh, we just say, we do not attack uh, each other, that's it. So if finally, ideally, everybody is uh, within this fort, within this community, then uh, no lawsuits uh, will be possible at all because uh, everybody within the community pledges not to use patent suits against uh, each other. So wh what is that uh, now in uh, seven uh, years time? That's uh, the largest community now that pledges patent non-aggression against uh, open source and uh, Linux environment. As I said, patents are openly shared within this environment. So uh, if you join, you can use everything and uh, you can be sure that uh, nobody will, uh, within uh, this community will attack you with uh, the patent uh, suits. Uh, there are more than uh, 700 patents uh, in that and uh, these are, I assure you, the most basic patents. Uh, whether you are uh, convenient or not with the patent system, there are basic patents uh, like, uh, well, uh, I patent my uh, step uh, from the scenes and back. This is a very uh, generic one. So if I have patented that, nobody m may do that anymore. But uh, there are specific patents also which say, uh, well, uh, I have to use these shoes and uh, these clothes uh, in order to, to step from my scene and then uh, that's more specific. 
So among these 700 patents are very basic ones. So whether you agree or not with the patents, they are in there and they can protect you. Six plus projects and companies have joined, 615 I believe, and every month there are some like 20 coming in. And uh, everybody brings in uh, something. If it's uh, not patents, uh, then uh, packages uh, you want to protect, uh, you just say, well, it's open source anyway. I uh, bring it in and uh, I pledge uh, not to use uh, any patents used against you and you may use uh, all my packages at will. That's it. Simple like that. And, uh, uh, well, because uh, the response from the community, open source community, was uh, so great uh, that the open source, oh, sorry, Open Invention Network decided to broaden the scope, not only uh, to Linux as it was initially, but uh, to uh, other open source uh, uh, directions uh, like e-commerce, web technology, biometrics, apps, and uh, more and more counting. So uh, the, uh, the community is growing and uh, there hopefully will be the whole uh, open source included in there, finally. Shortly, so we are not only enabling uh, the open source projects and companies, uh, we also protect them and we try uh, to politically influence that. Uh, well, everybody tries politically influence. Uh, uh, Richard Stallman uh, does his best uh, and uh, uh, European uh, so Freedom, uh, Software Freedom Foundation does. Everybody uh, tries uh, to influence, but uh, that's a very difficult case, of course, as you see with the European patents here in Europe. Uh, we do like, we have abandoned them, but uh, we still uh, give patents away. Uh, let's see, so that's uh, enabling. Uh, we obtain patents uh, important to Linux uh, and uh, broader open uh, innovation. Obtain means actually everything. Buy, uh, take, as granted, uh, or just uh, uh, patent themselves uh, the most uh, uh, basic technologies. It's everything you want as soon as it gets in the pool and uh, it uh, allows you to use it uh, for uh, the defense of the community. We give free licenses to everybody who joins and support uh, other activities uh, like uh, defensive publications. You probably know what a defensive publication is. Uh, that's uh, the prior art uh, paradigm. If, if you publish that, uh, then nobody can uh, uh, patent that anymore. And that, uh, wa that's one of uh, the new programs of uh, Open Invention Network, uh, the defensive publication. So if you have something, you can just uh, go there and uh, very easily uh, publish that uh, so that uh, it cannot be patent anymore. Uh, OIN as a protector. Uh, we work to stop patent-related threats uh, to open source. How? There are different means for that. And, uh, uh, well, uh, Free Software Foundation, for example, is not always uh, of the same uh, meaning about that, but uh, it works. If uh, some of members or one of members uh, facing, is facing the patent aggression, then uh, actually many things can be done. Like, uh, quickly selling the patent uh, to, uh, to the member who is uh, facing uh, the aggression. That was done uh, with Red Hat uh, lawsuits uh, with uh, some other companies. If you see that uh, uh, there is a lawsuit coming to you, you can just uh, go to Open Invention Network and say, well, I have to protect myself in the court. I need these and these patents, uh, otherwise uh, I will be shut down. Okay. Here are your patents. You get it, uh, you go to lawsuit, uh, uh, you win it, uh, or maybe lose it, uh, but uh, we try to, be to do our best to defend uh, the community in this way. Uh, 
We provide uh, lawyers, of course, uh, to the organizations who cannot uh, afford it. And uh, defensive publications, I've already uh, dealt with that. And uh, well, uh, all other methods uh, we can use. That's, uh, that's a very practical one. That's uh, the practical approach, not uh, the theoretical one. We just said, uh, well, we have to deal with uh, the environment. It cannot be otherwise. We are living in that. So let's try uh, to defend uh, the open source community. And uh, the influencer, I have already told that uh, we are trying that uh, on the political level too, although not always uh, that successful. And we work with others, of course, with the Linux Foundation, uh, with uh, the Software Freedom Law Center. They help us uh, with uh, uh, the strategy, with law strategy. Uh, provide uh, legal support to us and of course with uh, the companies and uh, projects and uh, non-profit foundations just to see what is happening in the field because we have to react quickly on that uh, in case uh, we need to so there are many questions uh, there are questions sometimes uh, when I, uh, I try to uh, to convince people to uh, get in there. You do not lose anything. You don't uh, even have to pay for that. Uh, then uh, the question is, well, what if I do not have any patent? Why should I? Well, you don't have it, but uh, you don't need it maybe. But if you bring in your product, it's open source anyway. And uh, it can be in there and uh, protect community. Why not to do that? Everyone is welcome. Uh, so uh, that's like uh, I said, that's a fort. If you see the trolls in the bushes and uh, you are trying to, uh, uh, to protect yourself and you are knocking on the door of the fort, nobody will say, well, first bring in uh, your, your own weapon, then we'll let you in. No, that's not the case. The door is, uh, the door shut open, you get in there and you're among, you are among the community. Uh, how the protection works? Uh, it works uh, preventively, first of all. Because uh, these uh, 700 uh, patents and counting uh, within the Open Invention uh, Network, they are covering the very basic, the fundamental uh, nature of, uh, uh, of the open source. So virtually any company which would like to sue you will be counteracted by uh, the bench of patents uh, from uh, within the Open Invention Network, which would say, okay, you sue us on that, we can sue you on that. Because, uh, well, we have these patents, you don't. So get off. And don't bother our members with that. And, uh, well, another question is, uh, oh, maybe I will join. Maybe in one year or something. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Why? So, uh, no hurry, I can just wait. Uh, but, uh, it's better to join earlier than uh, later. Because the patent pool is some kind of, uh, well, flowing substance. If, uh, as I said, uh, the patents should be sold to Red Hat or any other member who is uh, facing a lawsuit, then uh, you, cannot, uh, you cannot count on them uh, after you have joined uh, Open Invention Network. If you join now and uh, this uh, patent uh, is in there, you get uh, the right to use it uh, till the end of times. But if you join later when this patent is uh, sold or given to, uh, to anybody, then you cannot uh, use that uh, particular patent. That's uh, the theoretical threat, but uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, worth to consider. Yeah, uh, why should I care as uh, the project or non-profit? Uh, I'm uh, frequently asked uh, about that. So. You just uh, help to protect others, that's it. And uh, why should I care as business? 
that's not only protecting yourself uh, from uh, the trolls from uh, the other companies who actively use uh, uh, patent system, misuse patent system. That's uh, also about uh, the potential investor. The, the, the investors uh, who invest in software and hardware companies of uh, the modern industry, they look first of all at the risks of the company. So if you cannot cover risks or you cannot show that uh, you can or be able uh, in the future to cover your risks, then uh, the investor probably will say, well, I'll come another year when you think of something. And of course you can use it as uh, the visibility and the marketing tool. And well, this is a slogan. Uh, we use the protection, uh, the protection you receive from uh, Open Invention uh, Network is far greater than uh, the grant you provide. What you bring in is just uh, a small piece, but you can use the whole system to protect yourself. Uh, the license. Uh, the license is uh, some uh, four pages, well, six pages with uh, addendum, and uh, it's made to uh, to satisfy uh, virtually everybody from uh, IBM uh, to the smallest nonprofit. That's uh, the lawyer's work. Uh, that's uh, quite complicated uh, to read, but if you read through, you can see that uh, these are three fundamental uh, things. Uh, in there in this license. Open Invention Network gives you the royalty-free license for the large portfolio of patents and uh, patent applications. So not only patents but also the applications uh, which uh, sometimes run uh, for a couple of years. In return you give a uh, royalty-free license for any open source patents and patent applications if you have them. If don't that's okay too. And all members do the same uh, for you, so uh, they pledge not to attack you. That's it. That's a uh, very simple uh, concept uh, which is uh, written in there. And uh, yeah, by the way, I have uh, a couple of uh, license uh, agreements here printed. If you want to sign now, you're welcome. Otherwise, uh, give me your card and I'll mail you. So, uh, what about you? <laughs> Join! Uh, as I said, uh, there are now uh, more than uh, 600 uh, companies in there. And, uh, well, you can easily join it. You can even join uh, uh, online. When I uh, worked for uh, an Elnet Foundation uh, in April, uh, we have uh, done for Open Invention Network uh, uh, we have helped to build uh, the online uh, module for uh, for sign in uh, for open invention for one of the companies uh, NLNet uh, has helped. So this module is now operational, and uh, you can just go there and uh, sign. But uh, well, if you prefer a mail, I can mail it to you. That's uh, not a problem at all. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Paper licenses are here. If you want to, I'll, I can provide you, give me a card, uh, I will uh, get back to you. And you can uh, get back to me anytime, you can call me, I'm here around, you can mail me. Or you can uh, just come and uh, ask for uh, my card. That's it, thanks very much, and uh, spread the word, I would say. Thank you.